Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Haley. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I get my loose beachy waves. All you're gonna need is a clip of some sort, a hairspray of your choice. I'm gonna be using the Redken Triple Take 32. It is an extreme high hold hairspray. This line has a bunch of different like flexible hold, strong hold, extreme hold. So I need the extreme high hold because my hair is so flat and so fine. I have like baby fine hair. So I need something to kind of rough it up and hold it. And then I'm using a babyless one and one fourth inch curling iron. So any type of iron with a clamp, I don't know about a wand but any kind of curling iron with a clamp will do this so the first thing I do is go ahead and section my hair off put a little more than half up top and then I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a piece you don't want to take too big of a piece. You don't ever want it to be wider than your actual iron. So that's perfect. Now I'm going to take it away from my face. So I'm clamping it, rolling a little clamp roll. Some people say that they can't really get the clamping and rolling thing, but just with practice, I mean, I used to cut. Now this is important. So I'm going to take it out, do like this clamp roll, hold. You want to hold it for, I don't know, like five to seven seconds. Take it out, roll, come down. Now I'm leaving my ends out. This just helps kind of do that beachy end. And then you let go. So you have that. That's it. You're not going to touch it until the end. So we're going to take another section. Make sure it's not too big. Repeat the same thing. Hold. Take out, take out, and taking this one, rolling it away from the face. second section and I don't want to take the whole thing down so I'm just going to take a little bit up at the top and put it back up. I section it and do it like this. If I'm not in a hurry this is how I do it. If I'm in a hurry I won't do it like this. I'll um, leave it all down and do it that way. It just kind of gives me more curls. I'm not trying to rush. This is just when I want to do a more precise job. So I'm doing the same thing I did down there, taking small sections, holding. And be careful not to burn your hair, I almost just did. While I'm doing this, I want to talk to y'all about barrel sizes. So I sound like a cowgirl when I said that, <laughs> but um barrel sizes so this is a one and one fourth at work we predominantly use a one inch and i really want to get a one inch this is a little big for my taste and i think my curls would hold better if i didn't have the one and one fourth if i had the one inch actually so if you're wanting to do this i would say i mean if you have hair length like mine my hair is like you know medium length I would say a one inch is perfect. You can definitely do it with smaller or bigger, but from my experience, this works the best with a one inch. So the bigger the barrel, the bigger the curl. Because 
is my hair. I just washed it. It's soft and it's like the curling iron's like sliding right through it. So this is probably this is second day hair, but this is probably best on like true second day hair, like not washed the night before. Second day, third day. But if you have coarse hair, I mean this could work right after. It could work regardless right after you do it. You just might need a more hairspray. So up here I'm doing the same thing, pulling it down. For this video, I'm doing it all away from the face, but you don't have to do it that way. My recommendation for that though is do it all away from your face until you get to behind the ear. So all this needs to come back and once you get back here, you can alternate and that'll give you a little more body, a little more movement in your curls. I finished this side. Now I wanted to tell y'all why I'm doing this where I wrap it, hold it, and then drop it out. My whole life, I used to curl it like this, take the whole strand in it and curl it up at one time. But what that's doing, the thick part is getting the most of the heat and you don't want all the heat to be in one area. You wanna make sure that the heat is dispersing evenly throughout the curl. So if you like keep rolling this up, it's just gonna be right there on that one point and that can cause heat damage, that can cause breakage, and that is not something we want. So that's why you do it this way. Now I'm gonna brush this out and actually do it the way that I wanna do it. So take it, roll it and hold it. Bring it out a little, come down. Down. And out, much better. So this whole time I have not taken apart any of my curls. I've not brushed my fingers through them. And this is really important for you to not do that until the end. So I'm letting all these sit while I'm finishing. We want to let everything we just did sit just a little while. If you're in a rush, you can go ahead and comb your fingers through it, but I'm going to let this sit for like a minute or two and come right back. Okay, so I've let my curls cool for a minute or two. Now this is the really important part. I'm going to take my fingers, run them through it, okay? So it's just kind of loosening the curls up a little bit so they're not so together. Do that as much or as little as you like. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do this to give it a little more body up here because like I said, I have really flat hair. Now, take your hairspray. That's weird. Spray it. upside down and spray the bottom half too. Shake it out. And then you've got some effortless, beachy, messy waves. I mean, obviously we put in effort, but other people don't have to know that. And yeah, this is the final product. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. I love making these kinds of videos. I'm a cosmetology student. I am already working in a salon, so like hair and makeup is something that I'm super passionate about. So if you guys like this video, if you want like some hair tutorials that you can try while you're locked in your home, let me know. Leave a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to do all those good things. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.